last one to go, so I won't take too long. It won't be as short, probably, as Coach Moore, though. <clears throat> Obviously, we want to thank everybody that, that has been thanked ten times already, but uh, Salina Country Club, Dave Dallas, uh, all the head coaches. Uh, you know, it was my first year last year. Kind of repeat what uh, Coach said. Uh, I think uh, it's nice to be able to pick up the phone and, and ask some questions, whether it be rules, whether it be um, some advice that they might give, and get those calls, and, and it definitely makes it nice. Um, last year, you know, very little was known, really, not by just you guys, but us as well as the staff, I think, about our team. Um, we finished you know, fairly well, definitely better than we thought, or, or many thought we would. We thought it would be pretty decent if we could get everybody on the same page, and, we ended up the year pretty good. We had a pretty serious lull in the, in the middle of the year um, that hopefully we can take care of, but there's a lot of other good teams in this conference, so that will be tough. This summer's been good um, for a couple reasons. The, the number one thing is because I have a, a new little daughter who Monday will be 15 weeks old, and that's been definitely the, the highlight of my summer. Um, it definitely changes your outlook on things when you see that it's a girl. That's, that's, those are scary words, it's a girl. <laughs> And we were we were definitely happy and blessed about that. I, another exciting thing uh, would be some of the facility upgrades that we're able to, to begin. Some were completing, some were just beginning at Bethany, which definitely helped with the recruiting process. Um, our field is done, the track is being completed, and uh, some other things are, are going to be done. I know the rest of the coaches probably are happy the field is done as well because we don't have to negotiate around uh, sprinkler heads sticking up at about two or three inches. So. That's good. I was walking through the field there the day after the rain, seeing how the drainage system worked and all that, and uh, came off the field and I said, well, what do you think? Well, I know last year if I walked on the field at this time, I'd have to change my shoes because they would have been drenched in mud. But it's a nice facility and it, it definitely will help. Uh, I think we have four coaches here today. If you guys just kind of want to raise your hand here. Uh, Everest Martin um, is our offensive coordinator. Uh, Nick Taylor is our defensive coordinator. Stephen Baker is our quarterback coach, and Jay Corwin will be a defensive assistant in backfield uh, this year. A funny thing about Stephen Baker, apparently, reading our media guide, I was unaware that he was the 2004 AI Player of the Year. I think that may be a typo. I think he was maybe a Player of the Week uh, one time, but I, I hope maybe sometime we can have a Player of the Year. That would be good. I don't think Stephen was, but, uh, but hopefully we'll be okay. Um, we felt pretty good about how we've begun the season. Again, we, we struggled a little bit a few games in the middle of the season and then finished uh, strong the last couple games. Um, I'll talk briefly about some of the returners. You know, depending on what counts as a, re a returner. Does, does he start one game? Does he start all the games? We have about seven or eight returners on defense, however you look at it. Five, five of the guys we started last year uh, were freshmen, so that's good. Uh, defensive back. We feel like we'll, we'll be okay at corner. Um, Lane O'Connor, who was a very good freshman outside backer for us in our 3-4, uh, will move back, move back to safety, and we think he'll do very well there. We're concerned about the other safety position, but everybody has some positions they're concerned about. Defensive line in our 3-4, we return a couple defensive ends. Um, we return a nose guard that started some. Uh, kickers, we'll skip that part. Uh, our linebackers, again, in our 3-4, you know, three of the four guys that started a lot were, were freshmen. Um, one of those guys that moved back to safety, as I said, so uh, we'll have three or four returns, however you look at it. On um, offense, we'll return uh, 10, I guess, again, how you look at it. We started four freshmen, you know, three of those guys were offensive linemen. Our center last year was a first-time player, and he was a junior, but hadn't played any time. Uh, so we feel, you know, we feel good about those guys. Uh, our quarterbacks, Kavika Kalave, um, uh, went back to Hawaii and just going to start working. He came in the spring and said, Coach, I'm 27. Now I've got to, my mom wants me to start working. So, um, and he had some shoulder injuries, which uh, hampered his throwing ability a little bit last year. But he was pretty scrappy. I know there were some games where he took a lot of shots. Uh, no thanks to the, the defenses of some of the teams up here. But uh, our protection probably had a little bit to do with that as well. But he, he hung in there about uh, Mark Marcus is a guy that started some games as a freshman and played some, some other games as well. And then uh, 
Well, I'll talk a little bit about a few of the, the new guys here momentarily. Running back wise, we return Sean Daly and, and Cabell Gordon at fullback there, and Sean being our tailback. We feel like those are two very good guys. In the past, you know, Bethany's been quite a bit of one back, and, and last year I think we kind of found our identity towards the end there as more of a two back system and scheme. We'll obviously still have the ability to go to the one back, but um, you know, if, if we had some success, I think that we should probably try to stick with it. And we have a good fullback and Charles is a very good running back. Uh, tight end position, probably wind up moving one of our tackles to tight end. Um, and then we have a couple of good freshmen with Joe coming in. Receiver wise, probably again as somebody else stated, that's probably our, our least um, deep position, you know, the one we'll struggle with a little bit with depth. If we went four wide, we'd probably have a freshman play. Um, now we have some pretty good players, obviously. Willie Edwards is a pretty good player. Um, Robert Beeger was, he was, I think, an honorable mention All-American a couple years ago. He, he's got some ability. Uh, so we have some players there, but, but one of our freshmen will play. I mean, we'll have a couple freshmen that will play when we go, you know, 10 personnel. So will be a freshman on the field receiver. Some of the guys that, you know, we feel good about, and, and you know, we'll know. Everybody says, oh, how's your recruiting class? Well, ask me in two years. You know, and I'll tell you how good they were, because hopefully they're not all playing their first year. We have a couple, a couple guys coming in the secondary that, that should help us. An offensive line that should give us a little more depth. We, I'll tell you this, we definitely feel better about our offensive line depth this year than going into camp. Now, how you feel mid-season and after the season about how your guys are, that's great. Everybody looks good on paper, but I know that our depth will be better this year than, than last year. Um, we just were able to have some more players. We'll, we'll report around 90 for camp, which is, you know, we reported about 72 last year. So that'll help us just in sheer depth and practice and, and running a, a functional practice there. Um, again, returning went well. You know, you know, you always lose some guys that you wish you hadn't. But like I told the staff, if you get everybody you're returning, you're probably not returning good enough players. And so we we got some really good players we're returning, and we lost you know close on, on some guys that we thought were going to be very good. But numbers wise, we'll, we'll bring in I, I think um, just over 50. Is that right? Um, 50 new players or something like that. Maybe not quite that high, but we're for around 90, and we we'll wait for that call here in a week or so. And, Coach, I'm not going to go come back, or my grades didn't come in. We'll probably lose one or two, but we'll be between 85 and 92, is, is my guess. Any <coughs> questions? Yes, sir. Oh, I'll try to hear you first. Uh, is not back. Uh, quarterback, as I mentioned, Mark. Um, Mark Marcus, uh, a <coughs> kid from New Jersey, played some last year, has some ability, and, and he looks like a bodybuilder. I mean, he's put together, he, he's physical. His throwing motion struggled some, you know, as we break down the film all through the summer. We have to work mechanically with him. Um, and we had a transfer in from Nebraska Carney and Mark Lumsden, who looks the part. I mean, he's, you know, the sixth forward and has a real strong arm. But those two, you know, probably, I mean, if I was a betting guy, one of those tools will start. And maybe it might be a situation where we have two quarterbacks again. I think Mark Marcus will come along for sure. But uh, Mark Lonsden probably has more game experience uh, as far as years of playing, I would say. Coach, uh, I'm Betsy Brad, and I'm here again. So between the three of us, we might be able to read this fairly well. I, I, I didn't get one. Apparently, we might have brought 10 or 15, so I didn't get one of those. Uh, if, if I just wanted to help Coach Lewis understand that he lost one game in the conference last year. Could you help him? I don't want to remind him of that ball. Yeah. Thanks for the fire. <laughs> Stay at home, probably. Yeah, I really appreciate that. I think we were so young and, and stupid, we didn't know we were supposed to look like it. I think everybody's uh, you know, pretty excited about what they have. I, I, I was talking to some of the media guys, and I feel like, you know, Take the Lou Holtz approach. I don't know that we'll be able to beat our way out of the wet paper bag. You know, I'm scared to death about what these other guys have, but you have to worry about your own team and getting ourselves better. I think, personnel wise, I think on paper we look better than we did coming into camp last year. And schematically, I think we've made some corrections to some things that gave us some problems that we should be okay. But these other teams practice, they get scholarships. Not everybody's like Sterling, or they have, what do we, what do we have now? Any, nine or ten or 10 or 12 full rides. So. We'll all be pretty good, but you got to show up and you got to you got to mesh as a team and find out who's doing what. Thanks.
Anything else? Okay.